Hi everyone and welcome to my next video. Today I'm featuring the Couture Creations Australia Natural Beauties Collection. It's a wonderful Australiana collection and I've made a very quick and easy, what I call a junk journal, travel journal, uh, using the collection of papers and also the stamp set from the collection and using envelopes to make the base of my junk journal. This is a fantastic junk journal that you can incorporate with your interactive scrapbooking pages or create little booklets to put in your photos of your travels. Recently, I beginning of this year, I went to Tasmania and I've created a few of these just to, to depict a few areas that I went to see. I still have to write in my journaling parts in here I thought that was a little bit more private, but I thought I'd show you how you can include some of your photos that I've taken in my travels down to Tasmania in the southeast part. And you can create one of these very easily, and I'm going to show you how this is done. So to begin with, I'm using the Australia Natural Beauties Collection. I'm using a piece of the ephemera and also the stamp set and also the beautiful papers. I'm going to show you how I created the base of this and it's just a very quick and easy way of creating a very simple junk journal to put in your book of your scrapbooking or make into your little section of your journal. Also in the inside I've used the paper and also one of the ephemera sets and also you can see I've mounted all my photos and I still have to add in some journaling parts. There are also little pockets if you've recollected along your travels some little receipts or some you bought something special there or you want to put something like a map or something you've got these little pockets that is created when you make this little base of this junk journal travel travel journal. Really quick and easy to make and you can decorate it any way you like. You can add more papers or more envelopes to make it more thicker, but I just wanted to use a very simple one and I'll show you how I created the base. So you will need four envelopes. Now you, they can be any size you like. I'm using the envelopes from this pack here. It's an A6 size. It comes with 50 card stocks, all pre-scored and each card's got an envelope as well. But I'm using just four of the envelopes to create the base of my junk journal. So these are really great and handy to have. So with each envelope, I'm now going to place the actual envelope inside my embossing folder. Now this is one from the collection, um, but if you haven't got this one, you can use any embossing folder. So you're going to place the envelope inside the folder and run that through your die cutting machine. I'm using the Go Power and Emboss machine. You can use your manual die cutting machine. And each one's come beautifully embossed with a beautiful image of some beautiful leaves. And like I said, you can use any embossing folder. So this is given a little bit of texture and a little bit of um, differentiation of the journal. So I'm going to do that to all four um, of the envelopes and then I'm going to ink around the edges. So I'm using the sponge dobbers and I'm also using the Card Deco pigment inks. I'm using Saddle Brown and Gold and I'm going around the edges with my sponge dobbers and inking that all around the edges, inside and out, all along the creases to highlight the embossing of the envelope. Another way you could do is also if you're into tea dyeing, you can tea dye these envelopes before you actually emboss. But I found that soaking these envelopes in water tends to break them and they're not sturdy. So I think using coloured inks to create almost that tea tie, tie effect looks really lovely. Now to glue the envelopes together I'm going to show you how the technique is done. I'm using the quick adhesive glue. I find this glue the best glue as you can still move it around and it doesn't warp any papers. It's quite good. So I'm placing the flap inside the first envelope. Now I'm going to leave the outer flap here because I'm going to use that as the lack of outer flap for the whole travel journal. Now I'm placing a little bit of quick dry adhesive glue inside that insert 
and making sure that it's all lined up and then pressing down firmly. So the inside of that flap is now inside the other flap of the envelope. So this is creating a couple of pockets in there. I'm going to do the same here. I'm going to put a little bit of glue on this side of, of the envelope and insert the flap of the other envelope inside. And I'll do the same again with the other one. So you created a couple of pages. You have the front cover with the beautiful flap. You have also the another cover inside with two inserts or pockets, another two another two pages. So you have quite a few pages. All in all you can have one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm not putting anything on the back, but you've got about six, seven pages to decorate with photos and journaling. So you can see this folds in beautifully and this is the flap to hold um, the, the cover together. So in here you can put um, some tickets or some receipts, you, you can put some little tags, but I'm now going to decorate it with the paper. I'm using the Australia Australia's Natural Beauty Collection paper pad. I'm using the small paper pad but you can use also the 12 by 12 and I'm just cutting the papers down to one size and the size of the papers I'm going through the collection I'm just choosing which ones will look lovely and they all look beautiful and they all look work really well so the paper of size that I've cut down the papers down to is 9 centimeters by 13 centimeters that gives a nice coverage of the papers and then I'm also mounting it on some driftwood cardstock and I've cut that out at nine and a half by thirteen and a half and that will just give a bit of edge and a bit of um, detailed effect onto the papers to once I place it inside the journal they will look really lovely. Also making sure not to adhere the part here where the, where the um, little pocket is so once you've done that you need seven of those to cover the pages. Now to create the sash that goes around I'm using some seam binding ribbon and I've actually stapled, I folded in half and it's about a metre and I folded in half and stapled that piece onto that flap. I'm going to create a nice little decoration here and secure this seam binding here so that doesn't move so then after when that's all tied up together you can tie it up beautifully on the side or on top so I'm going to show you now how to decorate that top flap with some stamping elements from the collection I'm using blending card cardstock this is a great cardstock for doing alcohol ink marking coloring in and also any other mixed media so I'm stamping the image of two stamps. One I'm using the Eucalyptus Bloom Stamp and Die Set. It comes with the stamp and the die. And then the other one is the Wax Flower Stamp. These are two of the stamp sets from this collection. There are five, no, six altogether. And they're really nice images, beautiful colouring in, can do some wonderful colouring in with your alcohol ink markers. I've listed all the colours down below of all the colours I've used for the stamping of the flowers and inking of the flowers and colouring in. So using my stamp press, my fabulous Couture Creation stamp press and the outline pen, or paper, no, outline black, paper, uh, black ink to stamp the images so that my alcohol ink markers won't run. So once I've cut, stamped them all in, I've coloured them in and I've, like I said, I lifted, listed all the colours down below in the description. Then I've cut them out with the die and I've placed them on top of my little ephemera piece as a backing. I've also added the words happy times because going to Tasmania was a really nice happy time. I haven't been there for a long, long time. It was really, really nice to catch up seeing beautiful things in that part of the world. So that's my travel journal. It's a very quick and easy base using things that you have in your craft room and decorating it with the beautiful Australiana's natural beauty collection available now from Couture Creations. If you'd like to see more products and more details of lots of different projects, please visit couturecreations.com.au for more information. Thanks for joining me today. Thanks for watching and we'll see you around soon. Bye.